Rock. So how are you guys? Good. Pretty I good. never even heard what your names were. Uh, I'm Ben. Ben, hi. PJ. Anthony. Very nice to meet you guys. And nice thank you very you. much for coming out. No for having us. So you've been out of commission for a little while. What's the story? What have you been doing? Ooh. We we took a long time to make an album, but we're back, and um, and that's about it. How long did it take? Uh, the whole process is probably like a year and a quarter, but um, a lot of it was uh, kind of wasting time, unfortunately. We went like not LA. on purpose. We we went to yeah. L.A. for four months and um, basically decided to like change directions after being in the studio. So we like flew home and basically scrapped what we did, which was cool. I mean, it ended up being good for the album. Like we uh, we definitely learned from a lot of mistakes, mm -hmm. and the album that we have now is basically like you know, built on what we didn't like about the other one that we started doing. So I guess it's wasted time, but I think it, it in the end, added to, to the yeah, record. it's never really wasted. Yeah. But looking But back, it was four months in L.A. that yeah, we didn't use anything from. Exactly. Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of the nice thing about being on a bigger label this yeah, time around. Yeah, you have the time can, to do yeah. it. Yeah. The time, I mean, the money, yeah, the exactly. It still kind of, like, makes your career suffer when you're just out of people's sight for so long. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I kind of feel like we were constantly, like, since we started doing stuff and like being in everyone's faces like I feel like we needed to just go away for a yeah. minute you know cause then like I don't know I feel like we've never had that time where we've been like under the radar and then we can like come back and surprise everyone mm -hmm. it's like so. if you love it let it go and if it comes back it's, uh, <laughs> it's meant to be <laughs> <laughs> there's some bands like that are just always there yeah. like I think it was Maroon 5 I'm like is this the same album or another album yeah. like this yeah. stuff just comes so quickly that you you don't even realize they're not gone so you don't miss them yeah. yeah, exactly. I guess you that's a good to, theory. You have to die sometimes. So this was probably a bit of a departure from $100 on the first album? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Is that a true story? Like yeah, yeah, it was. I think we like pulled money together for the first demo, right? Yeah. I remember going to the ATM and asking you to take money out. Yeah. <laughs> like 20 bucks, you remember that? Yeah, that's right. When that's all you could bucks. actually get out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what does 20 bucks do in that oh case? Like lunch well, that like, day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So now you guys are on a big tour, right? Mm -hmm. You're out with the Academy is. Mm -hmm. Is that good, fun? Do you prefer being out on your own as a headliner? Or is it kind of cool being out um, with other people? I mean, I think like for where we are right now, it's it's awesome. I mean, you know, we hadn't toured since the Taking Back Sunday tour we did in April. So, um, I guess, you know, we should be supporting the Academy is and, and it's it's cool. I mean, they, they definitely have like the big show that they do, but I guess we get to play to a lot of their fans and, and you know, a lot of our fans are, are starting to come out more and more as the tour goes on and as the record um, approaches. So it's good. Yeah, I mean, Ultimately, like headlining is my favorite thing to do because we get to play the songs that you know are like kind of deeper cuts into the record. But um, right now, this is awesome. Do you guys concur? <laughs> you guys are both just like Complete, staring down. I completely agree. <laughs> it's like you know, like we've been out of it for so long. It's like you can't expect us to headline and people right. to still come out because they've heard the same songs for a year and a half mm -hmm. on tour. So. Yeah. All right. So back to the album, which is in stores on the thirtieth. Mm -hmm. Is this? I, heard, I read something that this isn't going to be about dreams and afterlife and stuff. It's about real topics and more serious stuff. Yeah, I guess our last CD was very like um, it was a story about a guy who died in the first song and he's kind of stuck in purgatory. And the last song he's kind of released, so the whole thing is kind of this like fantasy. You know, it's not based in real life at all. And I think this, well, this album is definitely like the complete opposite. It's written about. Um, you know things in real life and and observing like real people in our lives and and it's just um it was fun to write because we weren't trapped in in like one story that we had to follow so um yeah it's it's a lot different so it's not all like going to be all dramatic and hard and no i mean the, there's definitely some dramatic stuff in there it's just um it's not make believe all right, so what about the single? Is there something... I mean, you guys are from New Jersey, mm -hmm. yeah. and you're singing about... I'm assuming it's Brooklyn? Thank I mean, you. there's a probably more people, than one Williamsburg. Like, What's wrong with Virginia? <laughs> Colonial Williamsburg. Colonial, Colonial, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> that's probably the most pleasant place yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, no, it's oh, about, Seriously, people have asked that? They thought it was about Well, Virginia? like little kids, you know right. what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> they like, look it up online. Yeah, uh, they really yeah. have. It's like, What's wrong with those funny. Colonial Bush people? Amish cool. <laughs> <laughs> people are... But, yeah, so I guess, I guess we're from Jersey, and 
you know, we hang out in the city a lot, and um, Williamsburg is the notorious home of self-proclaimed hipsters. You know, it's these people who are super jaded and stick their nose up in the air. Now it's kind of a stereotype. Like, I feel like hipsters, you know, are are kind of extinct, but the people who still call themselves hipsters now are, like, really fake and are kind of latching on to this, like, really kind of arrogant lifestyle. And, and I guess... I guess if anyone has has bullies, those have been my bullies for the past couple of years when I'm trying to hang out. So it's it's just kind of like a lighthearted song calling them out. You know, it's it's nothing serious. I don't think we're trying to start a war. Um, it's not too serious, I guess. You will all die. I <laughs> <laughs> think too harsh. <laughs> no, but <laughs> it's basically about. I mean, it's about anyone who who puts you down and and you know hopefully, you know maybe people can learn who hipsters are, but that's kind of irrelevant, you know, like, I hope that people can identify with a group of people who think they're cooler than you, whether it's... You're getting bullied in school, or, yeah. Yeah, the, your fellow co-workers who are trying yeah. to sell more computers than you, whoever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a broad message. It's, yeah. All right, well, people can check it out on your MySpace. They can buy the album on the 30th, Armor for Sleep. Thanks very much for coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.